Good Saturday morning, everybody, live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee. This is take two. We had some technical difficulties early this morning. We are live on Periscope and Twitter on the cell phone seen right here at the bottom of your screen, or if you're watching on YouTube or Google+, this is our weather blog entitled Weather Overtime. If you've never seen this before, it's a great opportunity to keep up to date on what's going on with weather across the Mid-South. You can watch me down here in the lower left-hand corner of your screen, so thanks a lot for stopping by and keeping an eye on what's going on with weather in the Mid-South area. Forecast information, lower right-hand corner of your screen. Temperatures today right now as we record this at about 8.03 and temperatures for today back into the mid to upper 60s or so. Low temperatures might make their way into the mid to upper 40s tonight. Pardon the wibble wobble while I get this camera set up and ready to go. Rest of the day today, again, no major problems being seen across the area. We do have some scattered drizzle out there and taking a look at Bethel Springs Elementary on our webcams from the area in and around western Tennessee. We do have, again, some scattered light showers taking place, but mostly just cloudy skies out across much of the area. Rest of the day today could be, again, the cloudy skies sticking around on the City Hall camera at Germantown. And if you'd like to see, again, more of our weather bug cameras, all you have to do is go to wreg.com slash webcams. The camera from the area in and around uh, Cordova, around Germantown Parkway, which you can see in right behind our forecast information uh, looking pretty cloudy and traffic on the light side out there this morning temperatures back in the mid to upper 50s to lower 60s as we go throughout the rest of the morning possibility again about 20 percent coverage chance of some showers out there throughout the rest of the day mainly just cloudy skies throughout much of the rest of the mid-south today so we're not seeing anything huge going on didn't see anything huge in the way of rainfall yesterday that's for certain we picked up again about maybe an inch or so for the entire month five inches plus for the year and we could definitely use a little bit more rainfall as we see about an inch and a two-thirds behind for February, an inch and a third behind for the year. So we could definitely use some more rainfall if at all possible. Temperatures yesterday way above normal, back into around the mid to upper 60s or so, close to 70 degrees. Record high today is 78, set back in 19... 86 and tomorrow's record high temperature is 76 degrees. I really think we're going to give that a very good run for its money as we get into tomorrow. So a very warm Sunday coming up. Today's temperatures not really doing all that bad. Now, earlier this morning, this is where we started to encounter some problems. Hopefully this will not repeat itself. Our forecast information here for you. Okay, so far so good. Looks like our luck is holding and I'm keeping the sledgehammer right behind me just in case I need to threaten the computer. No, I don't do that all the time, but sometimes these computers need to have somebody show them who's boss. As of right now, looking again back into the mid to upper 50s as we go throughout the rest of the morning. So if you are sticking around for the rest of the day today. It's going to be pretty mild. Temperatures by early this afternoon going back into the upper 50s to around the lower 60s. Spotty chances of drizzle across portions of the area. Not looking at a lot of major activity but again could be the reason that you're going to need to keep your windshield wipers on and remember if that happens if you are using your windshield wipers your headlights need to be on. That is state law so remember let's all be careful out there as we go throughout the rest of the day today. Heading into the rest of the evening clouds start to break up by just a little bit here and there and temperatures throughout the rest of the evening will be pretty mild mid to upper 50s or so rainfall chances move on out of the picture as we get into the rest of the evening overnight into daybreak tomorrow temperatures back into the mid to upper 40s to the lower 50s including right around the metro area so decently on the cool side heading off to church sunday school or wherever you may be going tomorrow morning jacket would be a very good idea maybe even a light coat but the umbrella will not be necessary more sunshine tomorrow past lunchtime and temperatures tomorrow into the mid 70s now according to this computer model run that you're looking at on screen it does seem like it's going to be a little bit cooler than what i was saying earlier well the computer is showing these clouds out there and it that is taking the computer model run is taking those clouds into account and so it's thinking that it's going to be a little bit cooler in parts of the area for tomorrow so we may see some temperatures drop a little bit where the clouds are thickest but mainly mid to upper 70s are going to be possible into Sunday and then clearing out for the most part as we go towards Sunday evening looking a lot much on the milder side there with temperatures going back in the upper 50s to around the lower 60s by the time we wrap things up into around Sunday evening or so and into very early Monday morning. Let's take a spin overseas and see what's going on out across portions of the area into and around 
back toward Baghdad and Iraq. If you have friends or loved ones in the United States military, this is a segment that we call Weather Where the Troops Are, so people on the home front can keep a little bit better in touch as to what's going on where their friends or loved ones may be. 40s around Baghdad and Mosul, 50s around Najaf and down toward Basra, but nothing major taking place at this time. 50s across much of the Persian Gulf. Winds have calmed down a little bit, but around Bar Doha, we are seeing again some winds of about 20 miles per hour plus, so a little breeze year out into portions of the area there. Afghanistan a couple weeks ago got hit by a major snowstorm, very unheard of for this time of the year. Rain around Faizabad, also rain around Kabul with 30s reported there, 50s around Kandahar, and 20s back up toward Herat with mostly cloudy skies reported in and around Afghanistan. The Korean Peninsula, temperatures back into the lower 30s to the mid to upper 20s. Mostly cloudy skies reported around Taegu, a little bit of fog there, mostly clear throughout the rest of the South Korean Peninsula. And as we take a look, this is one of our brand new sites that we added. We had it a while ago, but we accidentally deleted it, so I put this back together again uh, to show what's going on back down around Guantanamo Bay in Cuba. We've got temperatures about mid to upper 70s reported there, high so far of 77, and no rainfall seen there. If you have friends or loved ones serving in the United States military and you'd like to see uh, their base of operations, we'll send it to me at austin.onic at wrag.com, and I'll be glad to put that on there so that uh, we can feature your uh, relatives location where it comes to weather and keep you updated as to what's going on. All this information is featured uh, through the International uh, Organization of the World Meteorological Organization or the WMO under the United Nations. So all this information is freely obtained out there. If you'd like to know more about that, uh, go to wrhg.com slash weather, the website right there. If you'd like to know more about severe weather, these are going to be the first five meetings that come up with the National Weather Service is going to be taught across the Mid-South. There's going to be about two dozen meetings coming our way uh, throughout the next several days and weeks. The meteorologists and personnel from the National Weather Service in Memphis teach these courses. They're about an hour, hour and a half, depending on how long they go. That's how many questions are asked. So uh, people who are curious want to know more about weather, this is the place to be. If you have kids, eight, nine years old, I've seen weather spotters about that young uh, be able to listen in and get more of a control over or what seems to be kind of an uncontrollable situation. So these meetings, you can ask questions. You learn what to do before, during, and after severe weather. They'll give you a special toll-free number that you can call the National Weather Service directly to report to them what is happening so that people like me and my colleagues here at News Channel 3 can tell everybody else. So your information with volunteering for Skywarn could help to save lives. And if you want to know more, again, this is the place to go to, wreg.com slash weather. Thanks to Louie Haskett for a very nice sunrise picture yesterday on Friday morning from up around portions of northeast Arkansas and, as a double bonus, a very nice sunset shot from yesterday. So thank you very much, Mr. Haskett, for sending those in. If you've got anything you want to send in, if you're on Periscope and Twitter watching me for this morning here on my cell phone, uh, all you have to do is just go to twitter.com slash aonic underscore wreg3 and send them along. But remember, I can't show them unless you send them. So if you've got any pictures out there, great opportunity to send them in. Also, you can get our weather app. It's available at your particular app store at WRE. Go to wherever app store you have and search WREG weather for more information on that. I'll have details on the forecast throughout the course of the rest of the day today and into tonight and into tomorrow. That's my shift. That's what I cover here at News Channel 3. Questions, concerns, comments, ideas, anything like that going on, email me at austin.onic at wreg.com and I'll be glad to respond to you as quickly as I possibly can. Again, uh, Facebook Messenger occasionally works. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. So uh, up to you if you want to give it a try. But I've been losing, it seems, a lot more messages than I've actually been receiving from a lot of people out there. We'll have more details on the rest of your four forecast coming up tonight on News Channel 3 at 5, 6, and 10, and also again on Daybreak with my co-host Nina Harrelson, who's out there right now uh, finishing up the segment, so i got to get this done before I get all the, everything finished up uh, here on the air for today. If you want to tune into the last segment of Daybreak, feel free to stop by for more on that. Live and direct from downtown Memphis on Google and YouTube, and also on uh, Periscope and Twitter. Thanks to everybody for joining me. For information about the forecast, this is our exclusive a video weather blog called Weather Overtime. We'll have more coming up throughout the rest of the day on News Channel 3 on air and online. So thanks for joining us.